Step one, locate the screen recorder. There are a few ways to launch the screen recorder. If your Movavi video editor comes with the screen recorder, then open it up. After opening it, you should see a record computer screen app that looks like this. Then simply click launch and you're ready to go. Another option that's especially handy when you're already working in Movavi is by using the capture screencast tool. You can find this by going to the import icon and selecting file import and then clicking on capture screencast. Now, if you have purchased the screen recorder separately or started your free trial, then just open up your program shortcut, which looks something like this. Step two, launch the screen recorder. Once you have launched the screen recorder, a small panel will be placed along the side of your computer screen. When you find this, go ahead and place it along any edge of your screen that you feel is most convenient for you. If at any point you would like to hide this panel, simply click this arrow to slide the panel out of view. To bring it back, Click the arrow once more. Looking at this panel, you will see a few different icons. The camera icon is to capture a screenshot, the video recorder icon is for screen recording, and the plus icon, this allows you to add extra tools to this panel. These extra tools are webcam recording, audio recording, and a scheduler. Step three, capture area and settings. Begin the process by clicking in the screen recording icon. Next, Place your crosshairs at one corner of your desired parameter, and then click and drag open your new recording window. Quick note, the magnifying lens is there to help increase your accuracy. After establishing your recording boundaries, you can make further adjustments to these parameters by using the adjustment points. Using these to adjust is very straightforward. Just click and drag to your desired position. Next, you will see two panels, one on the top left and another cluster on the bottom right. Up top to the left is where you will find the width and height. Keeping an eye on your width and height can be helpful if you have a specific aspect ratio you need for your project. In the panel on the right, you will find a few options. The top icon provides you the option to record the sound from all of your keystrokes or just sounds from your keyboard shortcuts. The middle icon gives you the option to highlight your cursor and the bottom icon to highlight mouse clicks. Pretty cool. Now, on the bottom panel, we have options to turn on and off your webcam, microphone, and mute desktop sounds. An X to cancel the screen recording, and last is the red record button. Step four, record. Now, let's press record. At this point, you will see a new panel, including a timer, a pen for writing or drawing, a camera for snapshots, and of course, a pause, stop, and exit button. When finished recording, click the stop button. This will bring us to our last step, which is how to edit and share your recordings. Here, you can preview your recording along with any others that you have stored. By using the tools below, you will be able to adjust volume, take snapshots, and even trim out sections of your video. To trim your video, click on the scissors icon. Once selected, on the green timeline, you will see two white triangles. Anything in between these triangles can be deleted by clicking on the garbage can icon. It's important to note, there is also a handy undo and redo button for mess ups. Thank goodness. Once your video is ready, you can share it by choosing one of the six options below. Or if you simply want to save it to your computer or Movavi video editor, then just click on export. And after clicking export, select how you'd like your project to be saved along with your preferred format settings. Now give the final click on save and you're done.